34 years later. This is very, very significant, uh, Sonal. Just a few weeks ago, we saw our first convictions in the 84 riots case. That also 34 years later. But why today is especially significant is that while we have known, while all victims have said that at that time, soon after the assassination of Indira Gandhi, that you saw mobs were being led by Congress leaders. And Sajjan Kumar, HKL Bhagat, uh, were some of the prominent names that had come up. Jagdish Titler. These are the people who were, there were many, many witnesses who said, we saw these leaders lead rioters mobs. They were the ones inciting mobs. These were witness statements, testimonies that came across throughout, one after the other. And yet, despite that, you didn't have any of these top leaders seeing any conviction, face any cases. What was the maximum that we heard? We heard the Nanavati Commission, finally, during the UPA rule, Nanavati Commission said, look, there is grounds for further investigation against Jagdish Titler and against Sajjan Kumar. Then CBI started probing this case. However, CBI also couldn't get much further. They couldn't find witnesses. Witnesses were turning hostile. Some of the witnesses, many of these, it has been so many years that many of the witnesses were dead. And this became a huge roadblock. Finally, after 34 years and after the fact that what has happened is that it's also got a lot of political push. As soon as the NDA came in, they started started pushing this case as well. You also had various other people like the Aam Admi Party, they also set up their own investigation. So there was a kind of atmosphere where people felt this was the right time. So you had the ball started rolling just a few weeks ago when you had the first conviction in the case. However, they weren't prominent leaders. This perhaps is the strongest kind of leader. And that's why we have Amitosh saying that H.S. Pulka, H.S. Pulka, who was himself personally impacted as well, his book, uh, When the Earth Shook, is a testimony, is kind of account of what happened to his family. And he wrote a book with that with Manoj Mitta and he recounts all that happened. And that's why he became the kind of lawyer who was fighting for all the victims. And that's why we hear Amitod saying that he broke down in court and cried because after all these years, so many of these families have now moved abroad. Uh, in fact, NDTV has been uh, reported at one point where the CBI was about to close the case against Jagdish Titler and it was only after we went and reported it and that at that time it was reopened. So what I'm trying to point at is for the last 10 years at least, there was an attempt to reopen, but there was it wasn't moving anywhere. Finally, we see the first time a Congress leader, this is what the political significance of it is, that you have everyone knew, that's what the Nanavati Commission also found, that's what judicial probes, and you know, before that there were many other judicial probes which found nothing. So there was a kind of hushing up of the entire case, and now finally you have vindication, you have Sajjan Kumar, who has been named by so many others, uh, being sentenced to a life imprisonment. The courts have said very clearly he has to surrender before the 31st of December. So justice finally for a lot of the victims in the 84 riots case. Remember, officially 3,000 people were killed in those riots.